Good afternoon, parents and future Victorians. Welcome to the VJC eOpen House. We are really excited to have you all here with us today. I am Ashu, the Vice President of the Students' Council. Now, while we are waiting for more people to join, here is a quick introduction of today's webinar and a bit more about VJC. If you haven't seen it already, we have an eOpen House website where you can find out all there is to know about VJ. From sharings on academics in VJ to the vibrant student life awaiting our potential Victorians. You can find out about all that and more with just a click of a few buttons. Here is a QR code linking to our eOpen House website that you can scan and take a look at as we wait for our webinar to start. We hope you enjoy the videos created for you to get a glimpse of what VJ Life is all about. Here are some key highlights of the website that you should definitely look out for. Under programs, we have curated articles that go through the key talent development programs offered in VJC that really help to boost our holistic education. We also have detailed videos prepared by our subject heads on a variety of topics like education and career guidance, CCA, as well as our very own student-initiated groups program known as Six Square in VJC. If you're looking for more of an insight as to what makes our Victorian experience so vibrant, we have just the section for you. Over here, you can hear firsthand from the voices of VJ about everything there is to know about the Victorian experience. If you are curious about the various CCAs we have here in VJ, do check out our CCA section on the website where we have some videos and write-ups prepared by the CCA leaders themselves. On the main page of the website, you can also find QR codes linking to our other webinars, such as the one tomorrow on our student programs and experiences. It will be at the same time tomorrow. We also have an e-subject booth set up right after this webinar, so feel free to join us. Before we move on, do check out our Instagram accounts at victoriajc underscore official, as well as the student-led account at the Victorian Verve for more updates on anything VJC. Additionally, we have also launched our TikTok account at the Victorian Verve, so do check it out for some really fun content. Without further ado, Let's head straight into our webinar for today. Coming up, we have webinar one, where we will firstly invite our principal, Mr. Jeffrey Lowe, who will be sharing our college programs. After which, we will invite two of our wonderful faces of Victoria, Mizuki and David, who will be sharing their experiences in VJ so far. They will also be sharing their subject combinations and any advice they may have for you. Lastly, we will have a Q&A segment where we will respond to your questions live. You can submit your questions via the Zoom Q&A function at any point throughout the webinar, and we will address them. With that, I would like to invite our principal, Mr. Lowe, to take it away. Mr. Lowe, please. Thank you, Ashul. And welcome everyone to our webinar. It would have been really nice for us to have been able to host you, uh, you know, in person. But uh, unfortunately, given the current situation, uh, we're not able to do so. So this is the next best thing. So uh, do find out as much as you can, both from our website as well as from our various webinar programs. Anyway, uh, Congratulations, by the way, on uh, your very good O-level results. And I suppose at this time, you'll be thinking carefully about what next. So give me a few minutes and I'll share with you why I think VJC is a good choice for all of you. Now, VJC was uh, founded in 1984. And over the years, the word vibrant has often been used to describe the culture in VJC. I think earlier, those of you who watched uh, the video uh, saw the range of activities that we have. And there's certainly never a dull moment. We have a full calendar of events, programs, and experiences throughout your whole course of study in VJC. 
Another distinctive feature that you probably will be thinking about will be VJC's very strong tradition of producing excellence in uh, all areas. In the academic domain, we have constantly produced excellent A-level results. At the 2020 A-level exams, our students attain a median rank points of 85 out of a maximum of 90. 117 students actually got the perfect score and two out of five had 87.5 or more rank points. This means that the vast majority of our students can get a place in the most competitive courses in university. Now, before I begin my sharing, I also want to put to bed some myths about the students in VJC. That's uh, the first myth, JE students are dwarfed by the number of IP students. In fact, that's not true. Students who enter through the JAE uh, comprise of 60% of our intake. They come from more than 50 secondary schools across the island. Another myth that IP students and JAE students are treated differently. The truth is students from both intakes have equal opportunities for programs, leadership, and talent development. In fact, you will meet two of our students um, later on who came in through the JAE program and you will find that their range of experiences truly enabled them to be um, no different from any other student. Students don't get a head start in their learning either. We only start teaching the curriculum after the JC1 orientation program. There is no segregation of classes. We place students in classes according to subject combination. Okay. Now, as a VJC student, you will find how much autonomy there is given to you to own your student experience. Uh, many projects are undertaken by students on their own with minimal guidance from teachers. And this is what we take pride on, that you shape the student life for yourself and for your peers. If you look at these uh, photographs, you know, the walkway as you enter VJC since 2013, regular batches of students have painted this walkway with the college anthem. It tells you right away that sense of belonging and student ownership among Victorians. This year's open house actually is another prime example. You will see numerous videos, podcasts produced and directed by Victorians. When it comes to showcasing the college, Victorians will step forward with pride and with common purpose. One thing you will hear constantly in VJC is that we work hard and we play hard. And you will see for yourself what this means from the student sharing coming on. Now, of course, to be able to work hard and play hard, it's important that you have enough rest. So here, you know, lessons start only at 8.40 a.m. on Mondays and 8 a.m. on other days. For students who come from Sengkang or Pongo, we also have a charter bus that will enable you to reach school in plenty of time. So don't worry about that. Now, let me tell you about our academic programs. To start with, we have 67 different subject combinations. There's certainly no shortage of options for you in terms of choosing something that suits your interests. Of course, each of you is different. You would want to choose the right combination for yourself and you want to balance interests, ability and possibilities in the future. After this webinar, please join us for our subject inquiry booths at 1 p.m. and ask questions of our teachers. You can also join our webinar tomorrow, which will feature our academic and CCA heads sharing with a Q&A. As a student in BJC, you will offer some core subjects. General paper, project work are two of them. And all students who come to VJC through the JAE admission can start with four H2 subjects, among which one is a contrasting subject. Now, this is the list of subjects in the arts combination. You would offer three subjects from the list on the left, and your contrasting subject will be mathematics. For those of you who are interested in the science, you would do math and typically two other subjects from the sciences. Your contrasting subject will be from the arts. Student who wish to offer a hybrid combination can do that in the science course. That is, take math, one science, and two humanities. Another important area that you'll be thinking about, of course, is uh, talent development. For students who can qualify for H3 or higher three subjects, there are three ways to do it. You can take the subjects offered in school, taught by our teachers, and sit for the A-level exam in these H3 subjects. Or you can choose to do H3 offered by the local universities. For this, you will be guided by lecturers from these universities. The third and perhaps most exciting way to offer the special program here is the NUS A-Star VJC Science Research Program. Uh, 
Now, this program is a special one because we are one of the few JCs that actually offer uh, science research as a H3 subject. You, uh, you will do the research during the, your JC1 June and December breaks, and you will be exempted from uh, the mid-year exams. There are, of course, other opportunities to do science research if you don't wish to take on research as an examina uh, examinable subject. Every year, we have students taking on university research programs as well as competing in the Singapore Science and Engineering Fair. There are also special programs for uh, in the humanities. We offer three, as seen here. The first two come with scholarships offered by the Ministry of Education. You can find out the requirements for these subjects in the academic programs booklet on our open house website. We will share more about these um, later on. Uh, we also offer theater studies and drama, which is uh, which we are the pioneer actually, and have, we have been offering this program uh, for a, for quite a few years. There are many scholarship opportunities at the JC level, and every year. Several Victorians get these scholarships and awards, which typically give out about $1,000 per annum and are renewable. For BJC ourselves, we offer our own scholarships and awards, made possible by the generous support of our alumni. Developing yourself as a student leader must be something that you need to think about at this point, because many of you, as you prepare for the working world. Now, these opportunities abound in BJC. Our approach is three-tiered, from self-leadership to community leadership to thought leadership, which translates to providing influence and breaking new ground. The Student Leadership Program offers a lot of possibilities and Victorians serve in many, many different ways, including the Student Council, CCA leaders, class project and VIA leaders. As I mentioned earlier, many of these are student run and our student leaders often lead the way, making change happen and leaving a legacy behind. Here you can see some photographs showing some examples of student leadership programs. You will find that in the end, what stands out is the indomitable Victorian spirit which has thrived since our founding. And this includes giving back to the community and encouraging others. Another area that I'm sure is on, at the back of your minds is CCA. CCA plays a very important role in your holistic education. In BJC, we offer several performing arts CCA and our standards are high. Last year, during the SYF, we attained seven distinctions at the SYF arts presentation. This list um, shows you the uh, performing arts groups. This concert series uh, that we run every year in BJC features all our performing arts CCAs. Last year, because of the current pandemic, our students pivoted online for the first time for a, such a combined concert. Uh, this is still available on YouTube. So those of you who are interested, I do strongly encourage you to, uh, to watch the concert on YouTube. I certainly enjoyed it. <laughs> now, next is sports and game. Sports excellence, as many of you know, is a very strong BJC tradition. And we have many sports and games that have put up very strong performances at the national schools games. While the competition unfortunately took a hit over the last two years, our students continued to train and prepare for competition as one Victoria. Sometimes the college would, the whole college actually would go down for the semis or the finals for our sporting events. And it is a source of great Victorian pride that our young men and women strive to fly the college flag high. Not to forget, of course, if you're keen on clubs and societies, we have a wide range on offer in BJC. And many students take these as their first, second, or even third CCA, provided you can cope with your uh, studies, of course. Um, one example of this club involvement, for example, is our annual Singapore Model Cabinet that we run for secondary schools as well as pre-university centers in collaboration with the People's Association. Another special feature that we have is uh, special interest groups where students can initiate uh, groups based on their specific interests. I was, you know, the, as you can see here, our students, uh, I think th this is part of the group called the, who call themselves the Beanie Bros, you know, who, who have interest in creating beanies. So, you know, you're very much encouraged to come together uh, as a group and pursue these interests. Okay, now JC, of course, is a stepping stone to higher education and your career. 
Our programs are well established and we take a lot of time and effort to make sure you understand your strengths and interests and can come up with something that you will want to do after you leave college. It's a comprehensive two year program. We have strong partnerships um, with uh, organizations and IHLs. Our teachers will support you uh, over your two years. And one special component that I just wanna highlight is our project advantage. Now in this project, it's a mentoring program where you are matched with a teacher mentor who will then guide you through your education and career plans, prepare you for scholarship applications and university admissions. Uh, if you look at this photograph, it's, uh, it features our fifth president scholar, Xiao Mianyek, on, uh, in 2019. Every year, about 15 to 20% of Victorians garner scholarships from the ministries, stat boards, and universities. This is testimony to our Victorians' aspirations and our teachers' ability to prepare them well for these uh, next steps. We also work with uh, partner organizations uh, to provide work attachments, internships, career talks, uh, as well as career seminars. If you look, there's a very wide range. These are made uh, possible because we have a very strong support from our alumni who look out for their juniors and hope to give them the, uh, the, the best possible start. Okay, now this slide shows you um, overseas universities that we have been working with over these years to prepare our students to uh, best be able to take their place in these universities. Our teachers have worked with them for a long time and so uh, they've established good links with all, many of these overseas universities. Well, you know, um, another aspect that uh, we want to also focus on is uh, really in terms of our staff. Many of our VJC teachers have been with us for a very long time. In fact, a number of them were uh, former students from VJC who had such a good experience when they were with us that they continued to be with us for the rest of their career. And we very much value that. The staff are very close, we work together, and we play together in the same way that we role model for our students. The parent support group is a very strong uh, network of our parents who, are, who continue to serve for many years and they are constant support for our Victorian community. For parents out there, I do strongly encourage you to join them and uh, get the most of your time with us. And many of them actually continue to remain in the PSG long after their children have graduated, you know, having established these uh, strong links. Well, you know, these photographs are alumni, you know, because of the pandemic, of course, they are all masked up, but I'm sure many of you can recognize them in spite of them wearing masks. So these are a few examples. I think the next slide will show you a few more that you would have recognized. Anyway, uh, thank you very much uh, for listening. I trust that you found some of the information that I've shared resonated with you. I look forward to welcome you to the Victorian family and be part of our very strong tradition of excellence. Thank you very much. And I uh, hope you enjoy the rest of the seminar. Thank you, Mr. Lowe. Good afternoon, everyone. I am Mizuki and I am in the art stream. The subjects that I take are mathematics, Given that I take one of the eight me subjects that BJC offers, I think it's safe to say that learning is made so much more fun and enjoyable when you're doing something that you're truly passionate about. The subjects in the art stream might seem daunting at first, but here in VJ, you can definitely rely on the teachers to always be open for consultations. Personally, I enjoy how, how, how I am able to sh openly share my thoughts and opinions during lesson time in small discussion groups. What's more is that lectures are now held online while lesson time is used to clarify any doubts that we may have. Hearing this might sound scary, but not to worry. Our self-directed learning or SDL periods help us to consolidate our learning for the day and also catch up with any lectures that we may have. I think this is where our culture of work hard, play hard comes in. We are active in our academic journey from the start to the end, as seen by how we motivate one another as we study together, but also remembering to have time to let loose, 
relax, and share lots of laughter with one another. Truly, here in VJ, the people that you meet are one of the most supportive and genuine, and I knew that I could rely on my teachers and peers to help me through the difficult parts of my first year here. Moving on, I would like to share a bit more about my CCA. I am in the Students' Council, and having served in this position for about a year now, I realised that joining the Students' Council is so much more than just planning school initiatives or events. It is really about the lessons that you learn during the process of planning and executing. Not forgetting the many wonderful friendships that you will most definitely forge in your time here as you work and have fun with people outside of your class. One thing that I'm really grateful for is that no matter the circumstance, I can always count on my friends as either a support system or just to have a few laughs. Whenever I witness the dazzling smiles of the people that we are serving, it makes me feel like the time and effort put into all that we do is so worth it. With that, I've come to the end of my sharing. And before I end off, I would like to share some advice. Transitioning from secondary school to JC is a process that is quite daunting as there is so much to take in in your short two years here. But I would say to do what you love as I believe that the strongest motivation comes from within and that anything is conquerable when we ourselves believe so. So what are you waiting for? Come and experience what makes us vividly Victoria. That's right, Mizuki. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is David Tan, and I take physics, chemistry, mathematics, as well as economics, the subject combination better known as PCME. Given how flexible the subject combination is and how I enjoyed the sciences in secondary school, the science stream was a natural choice for me. Was it challenging? Yeah, it was. But as the year progressed, uh, but as the year progressed, we persevered, consulted our teachers, friends, and seniors for help. And in the end, most of us tasted the fruits of our labor. Is this culture of care, teamwork, and grit that allows Victorians to succeed, even when the outlook is discouraging. The same attitudes held true when Singapore underwent the period of heightened alert for the COVID-19 virus. Victorians banded together online to check on each other and make sure that everyone was doing all right during an uncertain time. Indeed, many of us received care packages and encouraging words from friends and even the Victorian alumni. There were even hopes, there were even specially stitched videos that were done by the teachers to keep everyone's hopes up. I remember when I got my own share of wing stop, personally delivered by the teachers. It really made my day. Truly, Victoria is something more. What about CCAs? I'm in the Victorian Robotics and Makers Club, as well as Writer Circle. The wide variety of CCAs offered allowed me to not only continue my current interest in robotics, but also pursue something new in writing. Aside from the lessons you learn and the skills you can pick up from the CCAs, what else could there possibly be? In VJ, it's the people whom you get to meet. Building an underwater robot wouldn't have been as possible or exciting without my teammates and I theory crafting and testing for hours on end creating Zion pieces together as a CCA and having the opportunity to read everyone's thoughts and open, discussions with them, and open discussions with them is not a solitary activity. CCAs in VJC are built different and they're built different for each and every student. I promise you won't regret joining any. I think I'll wrap up my sharing here. Since Mizuki gave some, gave some advice on mentally preparing yourself by doing what you love, I'll offer a different string of thought. Don't be afraid to approach anyone in VJC, regardless of class, subject combination, or even CCA, everyone in VJC is approachable, including the teachers. My teachers have not only taught me well, but have also gone out of their way to take care of us and make sure that we are coping well. I feel so lucky to have teachers who always look out for my friends and I. So what if you don't know everyone? No one is a stranger here, and everyone is part of one big Victorian family. So now you have both academic and social advice. 
Are you all ready to embark on your Victorian journey? See you soon. With that, I will now pass the time to Mr. Guru. Right, a very good afternoon to everybody who is here today. Thank you so much for joining us wherever you are. And uh, it's really a pleasure to uh, know that you are here. Although, as uh, Mr. Lo said, we, we couldn't uh, host you physically, which is what we love to do. Actually, that's where you see the Victorian uh, culture and the spirit come out uh, truly alive, as you saw. But no fret, uh, when you join us here, uh, students, then you can feel it for yourself. Uh, thank you again for, for being here. And as shared by our students, Ashu, from the start, um, you can submit your questions using the Q&A functions. We already have several questions that have come in. Um, what you don't see around here um, is that there is a kind of an op center here with, with several people on keyboards and uh, uh, across the college as well. So all of them are ready to answer your question as best as we can. Now, we received a number of questions before the webinars as well. And uh, we are very uh, uh, pleased with that. And we will try to answer as many as we can uh, before the end, right? Uh, I'm Mr. Guru. I'm one of the vice principals here in BJC. And uh, when you come here, uh, I think we will definitely roll out the warm Victorian welcome that we are so famous for. Now you heard the sharing from Mizuki and David, uh, two of our um, outstanding students here. And uh, also the range of programs that Mr. Lowe has shared with you, right? So um, as we move on to the next segment, we will answer your questions either via the Q&A function or we will take them live, right? With me today are some of my uh, key personnel and heads of departments uh, who are also here to answer your question. Now, if you have a very subject specific question, we will try to answer that, but even better if you join us for the e-subject booth that is happening right after this webinar. We had opened it up for registration. Uh, you do not need to register at this point. Uh, just go into um, the, the Zoom meeting and you can join us uh, in any of the breakout rooms for the different subjects. All right, I will show you a slide at the end so that you understand what I mean. All right, so we had uh, quite a few questions come in and I will just take a um, couple of questions. I think this is uppermost on most of you, uh, most of the, the minds of most of you, right? It is that. Okay, so now that I've got my results and congratulations on that, uh, what's next? Uh, what's the cutoff like? Cutoff points going to be like for all the JCs that I am thinking of, and specifically for VJC. Now, um, I think this question of the cutoff point is something that we have to we answer every year. It is not determined by the college. Huh? Uh, take note of that. The cutoff point is not determined by the school. It's actually determined by the Ministry of Education, and it depends a lot on students choices and indication, right? If uh, uh, most students apply to a particular college and they have very strong um, L1, R5, then you can expect that their cutoff point will stay or may even go down, right? Now, year on year, cutoff points are generally stable. They may go up and down uh, one point or so, but they're generally stable. So if you look at last year's cutoff point, you won't go too far wrong, okay? Um, the other question that I would like to answer is, what is the size of the JE cohort? As Mr. Lowe shared with you, 60% of our intake comes from the JAE. And uh, the size of our cohort this year is expected to be in the range of about uh, 730 to 770. Uh, it's going to be around that range. Again, it will depend on the pattern of, of your choosing uh, for the different schools. Okay. Now, um, I think you heard David and uh, Mizuki and uh, uh, share a few of their experiences here in VJC. And uh, I will uh, come back to them and uh, have them uh, perhaps respond to some questions that are coming in about student life. Now, to take this sharing to the uh, next step, um, actually, we have uh, frequently received and we continue to receive questions about project work, right? Uh, uppermost on your mind is, okay, so is project work uh, compulsory? The answer is yes. Right? Every student who comes to uh, JC and completes the A-levels will have to do project work, and it's done in JC1. Right? So um, how does project work um, work here in, in VJC? How do we do things, and what is the assessment like for project work? Now, with us today is our senior teacher for project work, Mrs. Ting. Uh, Mrs. Ting has uh, prepared a few slides that she would like to share with you on how project work is done. So this is very important because all of you coming to a JC will do project work. 
So I will pass the time over to Mrs. Ting to run through her sharing on project work. Mrs. Ting, over to you. Why not? Okay. Hello, everyone. Thank you, Mr. Guru. Hello, everyone. Welcome to VJC's Open House. I'll be taking you through a bit of what Project Work is about and how we run it in VJC. Project Work is a cause-based subject, and it's compulsory for all J1 students as H1 subject. It trains students to pick up skills such as research, writing, public speaking, and even developing your artistic side when you're designing interesting solutions. You'll also pick up skills such as collaboration, communication, and independent learning. Many students have come back to tell us they're very grateful for what they've learned in project work because they're using them all the time in uni and at work. How is PW conducted? Typically, you'll be assigned to a group of four or five in your civics class. You'll be given the liberty of choosing a project you and your group mates would like to work on. And um, if it's suitable and adheres to the requirements set by SAB, you'll be given the approval to proceed with your choice of project, after which you'll then carry out the project under the supervision of your supervising tutor. Altogether, there are three examinable components. The first is the written report, which is a 3,000 word document, and it comprises 40% of your assessment and is marked as a group component. Now, unlike most colleges, our written report deadline is set at the end of term three, so that our students are freed up to focus on the other subjects in preparation for their promotional exam. The INR component or the insights and reflections component invites you to reflect on the strengths and limitations of your project after you have completed it. It's an individually assessed piece of work comprising 500 words. Another benefit of our early written report submission is that our students can dive right into preparing for the oral presentation exam once the end of the year exams are over. Considering that the OP is worth 50% of the overall exam, we think that you ought to be given more time to prepare for it. So what is unique about VJC's project work? Well, we apply principles of design thinking to help our students understand real world problems faced by certain groups of people and come up with insightful solutions to help them. Besides training in DT, our supervising tutors are also trained to facilitate their groups in report writing, planning their project schedules, working with others, oral presentation, etc. We strongly believe in the potential that project work offers in developing our students' 21st century competencies, and we strive to do our best through the experiences that project work offers to prepare you for the future. Not to mention, there's of course our track record of outstanding results to reflect the effectiveness of our program. This shall be my last slide. It's a quick overview of the project work timeline. In term one, there's the introduction to the, pro to the subject and the release of the exam paper in March. In term two, students finalize their topics and start work on their written report. In term three, the project is completed and the report is submitted. And they start work on insights and reflections as well. In term four, it's the oral presentation preparations all the way, as well as completing the insights and reflections. That's all from me. Please feel free to clarify any doubts you may have. We welcome your questions. Thank you. Back to you. Thank you, Mr. Guru. Thank you, Mr. Sting. Now, project work uh, journey is, of course, uh, 
um, a very interesting one. Uh, the skills that are that are examined, as well as the skills that you pick up through project work, uh, skills that will stay with you for life. Right. So come in with a positive mindset if you're coming to do a course in a JC because you know you will have to do project work. And, and I think what's important is that you be open to working with others and uh, also to taking um, perhaps the guidance of your supervising tutors. Right. In VJC, our supervising tutors are very experienced. And year on year, as uh, Mr. Sting has shared, we have produced uh, very, very good results for project work. And uh, we hope to continue to do so, right? Uh, thank you again for all the questions that you are asking. I think we've had um, several questions already come in and uh, we've, we are answering the questions both via the chat function, the Q&A function and uh, answering them live as well. Now, a lot of you have asked about um, the student life here in BJC. And I think the sharing from Mizuki and David has uh, shed some light on how student life is like. Right. Um, there are a couple of questions coming in on, on the, whether VJC uh, academic culture is competitive, right? whether it's a competitive culture. And uh, we also have another question about, uh, I think this is directed to the students, uh, why did you choose uh, VJC on, um, and not any other JC when you decided to apply for junior college? So I am going to, uh, I'm going to push these questions over to one of our students, uh, David, and uh, we will give him uh, 10 seconds to prepare for his answer, and he's preparing for his answer. Um, so David, uh, are you ready to face these two questions? Uh, one is why did you choose VJC and not any other JC? And the other is, is the academic culture here uh, competitive? All right, over, over to you, David, do your best. Okay. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Guru. Uh, okay, so I'll go about and I'll answer the second question first uh, because I actually prepared a bit uh, for the second question. So uh, for VJC's academic, so for VJC's academic culture, uh, I would say that uh, it has a healthy level of competition, uh, but but it's not uh, but it's not overly it's not too overly competitive. Uh, there's this saying that um, one of my old teachers used to say. Uh, and it was society can only advance as fast as its slowest members. And I think uh, this rings very true in VJC uh, because uh, at least in my class, uh, the smartest students will always help out uh, everyone. So regardless of any question, uh, even if they're very busy, uh, everyone will take time out of, uh, everyone will take the time to teach each other uh, all the proper concepts. Uh, and so this uh, ensures that everyone is uh, kind of learning at uh, it, that everyone is kind of learning and able to keep up with the curriculum. Uh, and of course, our teachers are also there to lend uh, their very strong support as well. Uh, oftentimes, uh, oftentimes, even at the beginning of the year when we were just starting, uh, they asked us uh, to book consultations with them. They asked us uh, if, we, if we needed consultations. And uh, for some of the teachers occasionally, uh, when we did extra work uh, and we asked them, hey, could you help, uh, help us mark this, please? Uh, they said, okay, sure. And they went ahead to mark it for us. Yeah, so I would say uh, for VJ, uh, we, have, uh, we have a strong academic, uh, we have a strong competitive academic culture, but you won't feel, but you won't feel overwhelmed by it. Yeah, okay. Uh, and then I will now answer the first question, which was, uh, why I picked VJ over other schools with similar cutoff points. Um, so uh, for me, the biggest, uh, the biggest determinant was actually my location. Uh, so for me, uh, the uh, so for me, first up, uh, I was considering ACJC, but then I realized that uh, that I realized that I had been studying in that area for my primary school and my secondary school days. So uh, to go to ACJC would mean I would be stuck in that area for over 12 years. And I didn't want that. I wanted to experience something new. Uh, for uh, EJC and Nanyang uh, Junior College, I realized that they were really, really too far for me. Uh, and uh, in the end, it came down to VJC. Uh, and I realized that not only was it by the beach, so I could just stop by the beach uh, after school if I wanted to, uh, I also, uh, and when I did, when I did a little bit more digging, uh, and I asked my seniors, I also realized, uh, I, I actually scratched a bit of the surface of 
VJC is very nice uh, and uh, welcoming culture. And for that, I was very appreciative and I decided to, uh, and I decided to join VJC to try and uh, taste a bit of that culture. Yeah, and that concludes my answers to those two questions. Thank you very much. All right, thank you, David. Um, you're very honest with your answers. Uh, we are very happy to have you here, David, and uh, we continue. We hope to continue to see you uh, grow as a young man here in BJC. Um, okay, uh, we have some questions uh, about CCA that came in uh, before the session, and uh, I'm going to ask uh, our subject head for CCA, Mr. Lim Ping Yao, to take these couple of questions. The questions are whether CCAs are compulsory in BJC. And how do students get selected or how do we um, go about putting students in their CCAs, right? So I will pass the time to Mr. Lin Ping Yao. CCA is of course a big part of students' life here in JC. And so um, I, can, I can understand why uh, many of you may have questions about CCA. So uh, Mr. Lin, would you like to take these two questions? All right, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Guru. Uh, very good afternoon to everybody. And uh, just to let all of you know, CCAs uh, for JC is not compulsory, uh, unlike uh, secondary schools where you get bonus points uh, in order to get to the JCs you want. So why do you want to join a CCA? Now, at this age, it is where your interpersonal, uh, intrapersonal, as well as organizational skills are important. Uh, as part of your JC education, we hope to help you hone these skills and at the same time to help you improve on your le leadership skills as well. Um, one other thing that comes with joining CCA is that it's a platform outside of the classroom for you to forge friendships that will last uh, for, the, for the rest of your life when you go on to universities. Um, so in that sense, it is important uh, for you to develop yourself more holistically. Uh, so how do you or how do we then help you decide like what CCAs to join? Uh, we have a lot of CCAs on offer. Uh, if you have not seen the list that we have or you missed out what uh, our principal, Mr. Lowe, shared earlier on, the list is quite long. Uh, so it's sometimes hard to choose. Um, so how do you do that, right? Uh, for us, we do have different avenues for you before you come in to join us to find out more about these CCAs, our website, and when you come to us, we have a CCA experience where you can actually find out from different CCAs what they're all about, uh, find out from the student leaders in the CCAs before you join. So how does the process work? The process is such that you can actually uh, go uh, and try it out for all the CCAs that we have. Of course, some are more competitive. Some do have prerequisites or others don't. Uh, whatever it is, we, we have many, many CCAs that can cater to all your needs. And in each of these CCAs, we do develop the, your leadership, uh, your organizational skills. And most importantly, I think in a JC life, uh, you want to forge friendships that are lasting. Uh, so I hope I have uh, been able to give you enough about CCAs. Uh, over to you, Mr. Guru. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Lim. Um, of course, uh, students, when you come into VJC, you will um, understand right, how this whole CCA selection process is done. Uh, but do come with some ready interest in mind. And uh, actually, from the start uh, during the orientation week itself, we will give you more information on the CCA offerings here. Now, a number of you um, had asked, uh, even prior to this session, about how learning is like in the classroom, right? especially with the pandemic in the last two years. How has learning in JC changed? Now, of course, um, we have had to move some things along and, 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 and uh, uh, with uh, the ways that we used to do things, for example, uh, very big lecture groups, right? We had to do some things different this time around. So we have with us today our HOD for cohort, um, and she will be your cohort head when you do come here um, uh, after, your, after the JE posting results, right? Her name is Miss Young. Uh, Miss Young will share with you a little bit. So I'm going to ask Miss Young to take over this, this question on on how the student learning is like in, in the classroom and uh, generally how it's like for students in VJC. Uh, Ms. Yang, can you take this question? 
Yeah, thanks, Mr. Guru. Yeah, so like any other school in Singapore and any other school in the world, uh, we at VJC also had to make uh, adjustments when the pandemic struck. Uh, so we could no longer have the big group face-to-face -face lectures. So in place of this, uh, what we have right now is something called blended learning, uh, which will comprise a few things. So that there are recorded lectures that you can view on your own. Uh, and then as well as online live lessons. Uh, there's also something uh, which we call um, SDL period, self-directed learning. All right, which uh, student Mizuki uh, mentioned just now. So what are SDL periods? Uh, these are basically uh, periods at the end of each day, uh, protected academic time uh, where you can use uh, to catch up on uh, your recorded lectures or your tutorials. Okay, so on top of all this, uh, we also have a lot of face-to-face -face time with the tutors. So these are in your small uh, class sizes, uh, ranging between 20 to 25 in each class. All right, so for blended learning, uh, we do have a mix of um, uh, recorded lectures, live lessons, uh, SDR periods for you to catch up on your work, as well as face-to-face -face time with the tutors. All right, and we do have a team of very dedicated and caring teachers who stand ready to help you. Um, so it's very common for our students uh, to approach our teachers uh, for consultation. So not to worry, we will support you along the way. Uh, if you do need support, especially in terms of uh, catching up or understanding uh, lectures uh, that you have to do on your own, please uh, just feel free to um, approach our teachers uh, when you are here. Okay. All right, thank you, Ms. Yang. Now, um, as I mentioned earlier, now that you've gotten your results, you are looking at what your L1, R5 is. You're thinking about what choice should I put down for my first choice? Is it safe to put uh, VJC as my first choice? Uh, can I put uh, VJC arts first or science first and things like that? I, um, I'm sure these questions, of course, uh, are uppermost on your mind and will determine to some extent where you go, right? So. There were a couple of questions that were asked about, okay, so if I am at uh, five points, for example, uh, for my L1, R5, right, net after deduction, uh, is it safe to put BJC? Um, I, I would think based on last year's cutoff, it's fairly safe to put BJC at that point. Uh, what if you are at the same cutoff point as last year, right? Now, again, I would ask you to very much go with what your interest is, right? And where do you see yourself? Now, if you see yourself in VJC, then don't be afraid to put VJC as your first choice, right? Ultimately, the decision of where you are posted will depend on the general cutoff point for the JC. So if you are at where uh, VJC's cutoff for last year was, you should continue to put VJC as your first choice. Uh, even if you are one above, you can continue to put BJC as your first choice. But I would also then ask you to think uh, carefully about what your next choice is. And uh, if you are open to the arts here in BJC, then you can think about choosing the arts course as well, right? So continue to, to consider these options and what is best for you. Now, in the interest of time, I will not be able to uh, push any more questions to my colleagues who are here. And uh, many of you had very subject specific questions. And I will share with you again how you can uh, go about in the next segment for the e-subject boots. But to round off, and I think it'll be a nice note to round off, I will pass a little time over to Mizuki. Mizuki, uh, who shared earlier, Mizuki is of course the president of our students council. And as Mr. Lo shared, um, it also shows the availability of opportunities for students who come through the JAE to buy for leadership positions here. Now, Mizuki, there were, there were a couple of questions about, um, of course, uh, many questions about student life uh, that I'm sure you're excited to share with your juniors when they come here for orientation. Uh, but one question that I think many students have going from secondary school to JC is, um, how's the timetable different? What are the hours like? And do you have a very long day? How do you juggle your academic and your other uh, activities and your other commitments? Um, so Mizuki, um, perhaps you can uh, um, respond to these uh, concerns or at least these thoughts that are uppermost on the minds of uh, many of your juniors. Mizuki, would you, would you be able to respond to these questions? Yes, thank you, Mr. Guru. Okay, uh, I, 
I think uh, it is very normal to feel very worried about uh, how the how life would be like in JC. And I think personally for me as well, it was something that I kind of struggled with in the beginning. But over time, I think that you learn that it's very important to sort of uh, stagger the time that you, eh, sorry, it's very important to schedule the time that you have in a day so that you ensure that all the activities that you would like to do uh, are, are covered. So for example, for me, I take uh, mathematics, economics, literature, and also theater studies and drama. So my timetable, it's pretty, uh, okay. So my timetable, it's a bit, uh, it's a bit different. So in a sense that I, typically I have three, three to four lessons a day and I will have many breaks in between, which gives me the time to either uh, catch a bite or, or just to consolidate my learning and, and also just hang out with my friends as well. And also like, uh, like what Miss Young mentioned earlier, we also have self-directed learning periods, uh, an hour a day so that we can really wrap up what we have for the day or catch up on any work. And I think for, the, for, juggling, our, uh, for juggling my academics and also my uh, CCA, uh, I think it's very important to ensure that once you're done with school and your CCA, when you go home, you're able to catch some rest and also put at least one, two hours aside to study as you will realize that uh, coming to JC, there's a lot of content to cover from the very beginning. So if you're not uh, self-disciplined to uh, ensure that work is being done every day, you're going to find yourself falling behind many of your peers. And I think... Uh, perhaps I'd like to share a bit more on how you can manage your stress. I think one thing that is really good about BJ that I really enjoy is that there is so many people around you and so many friends and teachers that you can really rely on for support, especially be it your academics or just when you're not feeling up to it, you can really just talk to anyone around you and they will always be willing to listen to you and also give you some advice. And and then I think at the end of the day, it is important to choose a school that you really, uh, that you feel that the culture or let's say the academic uh, subjects really appeal to you. And I think BJ is one of the best choice that you have because we really have this really wholesome community and also this, uh, this really beautiful Victorian spirit where everybody is working together and also playing together. I hope that answers your question. Thank you, Mr. Guru. You certainly have answered the question. Uh, you know, there is an inside joke here in VJC. How many Victorians does it take to uh, uh, fix a light bulb, right? Now, I will not answer that question. When you come here as a Victorian, we will uh, give you the insight on that joke, all right? Uh, and you will understand what Mizuki meant. Uh, okay, so we are coming to the end of our webinar. And uh, just before we go, now, if you have uh, asked questions and they have been answered well and good, now, how else can you find out more about VJC? Now, right after this, right, starting in the next uh, five to 10 minutes, we have our e-subject boots. Now, many of you have already signed up and registered for the e-subject boots, uh, but as it's going to happen now, right now, uh, we will not need you to go in to register. Uh, you can simply join us by uh, going into the site and uh, there, there may be a registration form, but the form simply tells you the Zoom details. So you do not have to enter any of your personal details. So join us right after this. If you have uh, subject specific questions, our key personnel, our teachers, our heads of department are all ready to answer your questions on the, the subject so that you can make an informed uh, choice of which subjects to do. Now, uh, tomorrow, we have our academic and co-curricular heads. I'm going to give you a little bit more rundown of the programs here in BJC and what student experiences are like. So do join us again tomorrow at 12 p.m. And uh, you can continue to then ask questions along uh, the way as well during the webinar tomorrow, right? Uh, now, um, you can stay connected to what's happening in BJC over the next few days before you finally make up your mind. As Arshu shared, we have a very... Uh, 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 live uh, and happening Instagram pages, uh, both on the VJC official as well as the Victorian Wharf. And uh, perhaps some of you have gone in and you would have seen the very colored lights that we have lining up our uh, teaching block. And if you happen to drive by VJC in the evening today between 7 to 11, uh, get ready for a little bit of a psychedelic experience showing you really what vividly Victoria is like. Now, um, as I end off, I want to say thank you again. Um, and if you want to find out more, go on to our Open House website. And there's a, there are a, huge, a slew of resources there put up by the students for you to browse and continue to ask questions 
uh, both tomorrow at the webinar and you can write in on our official VJC mail. Now, thank you again for joining us. Don't forget, uh, VJC school code is 0706. Make VJC your first choice. We will be very happy to welcome you here in person um, at the end of January uh, on 1st of February when your JAE posting results come out and we can call you a Victorian. Thank you very much and see you again.